Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rathor. I have done MD in Forensic Medicine. And today I will discuss about sharp weapon injuries in that we will discuss about incised wounds. Inside wound is a clean cut injuries through the tissues, usually skin, subcutaneous tissue, including the blood vessels. So inside wound is a clean cut injury. It is produced by any sharp cutting instruments like knife, razors, blade, or any weapon which has a sharp edge can cause incised wound. Characteristics of incised wound, margins or edges of incised wounds are clean cut, well defined and usually averted in the sense they are outside, the skin edges are comes outside. They may be inverted if uh, there is a thin layer of muscle tissue attaching the skin like in scrotum, the after the cut the muscle fibers retract the skin inside the wound itself. So, in certain conditions, the edges will be inverted. Width of the incised wound is greater than the edge of the weapon. So, because of detraction of the divided tissue. So, whenever there is an incised wound, usually the width will be more compared to the, the width of the any weapon. If like, for example, if there is a knife is, a, is in, used as an incised wound, because of gaping of injury, the width will be increasing. The length is greater than the width in incised wounds has, has the person who is incising it may he may drag it so length will be more than the width and depth also and has no relation with the cutting edge of the weapon. Shape usually it is spindle shaped so it is usually has a spindle shaped injury due to greater retraction of the edges so because the skin is gets retracted it is usually in spindle shape. Gaping is more if the underlying elastic fibers of the, in the skin that is the langer lines which are seen in the body. So in, usually in the body uh, there are elastic tissues lies in the in a few directions like in this chest region it is usually in the horizontal direction. So in if there is in direction if any incised wound is along the perpendicular to this elastic fibers then retraction of the tissue will be more. So in the chest if the if the incised wound is along uh, perpendicular to this langer lines then the incised wound will gape more compared to if it is uh, along the lines of langer lines lines so gaping is less when it is cut along the lines so if it is cut in horizontally along the lines then the gaping will be less so because of the skin tissue because the langer lines are present the gaping will be less if it is along the langer lines, lang lines. If it is cut along perpendicular to that or oblique to that, the gaping will be more. And based on the, that, the shape of the wound will be changed. Depth and direction. Usually, the they are deeper at the uh, commencement. That is called as head of the wound. And toward the termination, the cut becomes progressively, progressively shallow, known as the tailing of the wound. So, in this way, example, you can see at that start, it will be more compared to the termination. So, it is the first uh, where the starts, it is the wound will be deeper that is called as head of the wound and as it progresses, the it becomes shallow, the wound becomes shallow, it is called as tailing of the wound. Depth of the incised wound with tailing will suggest the direction. So, that there has the it is deeper the direction of the force where the shallow is shallow end is there that indicates the direction of the incised wound and also you can see the gaping as increases if there is perpendicular plank lines hemorrhage as vessels are cut clean the is hemorrhage is more compared to laceration so we discussed lacerations because the vessels are crushed the hemorrhage is less so in this incised wound, vessel hemorrhages are more. Bevel cuts. If the blade of the weapon enters obliquely, tissues will be visible at one margin and other margin will be undermined. So in this image, you can see if the weapon is enters the tissue obliquely, then this, there is a flap of the skin. So this flap of the skin will be seen and the margins will be undermined. So there will be skin flap above the wound and there will be one more wound below the skin that is called as bevelled cuts. This is called as bevelling cuts. So in this example, so you can see the, the weapon has increased, has been penetrated obliquely. So there is bevelled. So this skin is above the deeper wound. I'm coming to determining age of the incised wound. 
So age of the enslavement can be divided by findings in the gross findings, which can be seen in only naked eye or microscopic findings. When the skin, if the person has died, we can take the skin sample and examine the microscopically for presence of the neutrophils and other uh, inflammatory reactions. So fresh wound have red with clotted blood will present. Microscopically, we can see the capillary dilatation and immigration of neutrophils reactive changes will be present. Well, hours the margins will be red, swollen, and adherent with the blood and lymph. There will be microscopically at 12 hours there will be changes in the uh, reactive changes, changes in the fibroblast monocytes is seen in the exudates. 24 hours after the injury, there is continuous layer of endothelial cells will be formed, cover the surface of the wound, scab formation will be and dried scab will be formed dried cloth. Microscopic examination show there is endothelial begins to grow on the edges, then vascular buds begins to form. In two to three days, there are no changes in grossly, but microscopically there is there is vascularized granulation tissue formation and fibroblast formation is seen. At four to six days, microscopically we can see the formation of new fibrils. In seven days, scar formation will be present. Uh, microscopically as well as grossly, we can see the grossly scar is formed by seven days. Coming to medical importance of incised wound. Incised wound can indicate the nature of weapon used. So as, as I told, incised wound is usually caused by sharp weapons. So if uh, so, in multiple injuries, which weapon has been used can be helpful. Age of the injury can be determined roughly. Give the idea about the direction of the force. So again, by head of the wound and tail of the wound, we can tell the direction. So head and to a head of the wound tells the, how the, the beginning of the wound and telling is the end of the wound. Position and character of the wound may indicate the mode of production, like it was related to homicide, accidental, or suicidal wounds. So, homicide and suicidal wounds may be present in any part of the body. Commonly, it is seen in the head, neck, trunk regions, can also be found on the inner side of the forearms and the hand of the victim, which is called as defense wounds. So, defense wounds are results from immediate and instinctive reaction of the victim to save himself either by raising the arm to prevent the attack or grasping the weapon. So these are special type of incised wound where the person who is trying to save himself may try to grasp the weapon or may try to avoid the injury to the vital organs. So because of that, the defense wounds are found on his forearms or on his palm regions. So based on the weapon, if the weapon is blunt, it may be bruises or abrasions are produced on the forearms or back of the hand. Or if the weapon is sharp, the injuries will be depend upon type. It may be present on the like stab or slashing of the wounds will be present on the hands. Different wounds may be also be self-inflicted and can be used by assailant to pre pretend self-defense. So a person may self-inflict and tell me he may tell that he attacked the assailant on self-defense based on. It may be sometimes in thefts or robbery where servants of the house are involved. They may self-inflict the defense wounds and to absorb the crime. So if they are committing the crime themselves, they may claim that defense wound has a excuse to prevent from the crimes. Also, it can be used as by women to charge a rape against a person or enemy. Suicidal inside wound coming to suicide inside wounds. Suicidal inside wounds are found in the accessible parts of the body mainly in case of throat or hands. Tilling of the end, till, tail end of the wounds will tell the how the person has used the weapon, like right-handed person or left-handed person can be used. Many types of hesitation cuts are also seen in the suicidal wounds. Accidental cut to incised wounds, it can be seen in any part of the body. It may be seen in the hand, fingers, anywhere on the body, mainly because by mishandling of the weapons or mishandling of knives, razor blades are many times are seen. Those are accidental incised wounds. Now, hesitation cuts which are seen in suicidal wounds, these are multiple small superficial often involving only the skin and are seen at the beginning of the incised wound. So these are multiple incised wounds seen on the, uh, on the exit parts of the body. So these are presumably hesitating their victims who are trying to, uh, when they are trying to suicide, they may try to cut many times before the decisive cuts. So these are incised wounds presumably hesitating while gaining courage to make a final decisive cut in the case of suicide. So this hesitation curse indicates that the person is trying multiple times to cut himself and 
it may be one wound may be deep enough to cause the person to die. So this exam, this is a one epitograph of hesitation cuts where there are multiple incised wounds seen on the forearms. And this may coalesce us and one, there may be one wound which may lead to person to die. These are my references. Thank you.